We begin with a Channel 2 Action News exclusive. Authorities say gangs are using drones to drop contraband into prisons. And they believe the owner of this drone repair shop and one of his workers are part of the operation. Good evening, I'm George Estevez. Justin Farmer has a night off. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Stofer. It's believed to be the largest criminal operation of its kind in Georgia history. Agents uncovered ecstasy, meth, guns, and cell phones at dozens of prisons. New at 6, Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live tonight. Mark, this investigation focused on drone drops into Georgia prisons. And the key... And the key is what it kept out of Georgia prisons. Uh, Georgia Department of Corrections Special Agents says Operation Skyhawk culminated today with raids targeting one of many networks at the focus of the investigation. Networks including one involving a business called Thunder Drones and drone drops of drugs, cell phones, and more into Georgia prisons. Are you involved in drone drops of contraband into Georgia prisons? Not that I know of. We, all we do is repair drones. He was in communications with inmates within the Georgia Department of Corrections and their associates on the outside. Including gang members? Absolutely. Uh, about making drone drops, contraband drops. You don't know who you're repairing them for, who you're providing them to? Uh, most of our business is consumer business. We've, re we've repaired drones for local Atlanta and interstate. We did electronic interceptions uh, on Mr. Robert Schwartz, his business here at Thunder Drones, and uh, inmates and associates of inmates. Have you broken the law? No, sir. The message that Governor Kemp gave me a year ago when, he, when I took over this job to crack down on gangs and contraband, that's exactly what we're doing here. Georgia Department of Corrections, GDC Commissioner Tyrone Oliver says corrections agents thundered into a business called Thunder Drones in Gwinnett County, armed with a search warrant. An arrest warrant for Robert Schwartz involving drone drops of contraband into Georgia prisons. He says drones shown as outside Thunder drones were among more than 50 drones seized in two simultaneous raids. And if the allegations prove true in court, he anticipates Schwartz will be dropping into prison for an extended stay. This will be the largest gang RICO case in the history of the state of Georgia. And it originated by the men and women here at Georgia Department of Corrections. The commissioner says prosecutors are working with GDC special agents to ask grand juries across the state to return RICO and gang indictments against Schwartz and many others. If you face gang and or RICO charges, what's your response? I, all I do is repair drones. I've been doing it, I've been repairing radio control things for 50 years. I'm, I don't know what, I, what they're even here for. We stopped uh, roughly 170 prison drops during the course of this investigation. GDC Special Agent Greg Phillips says the investigation started in November 2022, led to the recovery of lots of drugs, including 51 pounds of what appeared to be ecstasy, but while they are not lab tested yet, Phillips says he believes many of the pills contain deadly fentanyl. He says takedowns outside prisons during the investigation, Operation Skyhawk, yielded 22 guns he believes were intended for security for the drone operations. And 273 cell phones were recovered before they made it into prisons, with a prison value of contraband totaling around $7 million. We've arrested 146 individuals associated with contraband drops. Uh, out of those 146, eight of them are correctional officers, or were. Did you have any role? No and drone drops into state prisons. No. Is that a yes or no? No comment. No comment. Did you break the law? No. The commissioner says Thunder Drones employee Nelda Alber was also arrested on charges related to drone drops of contraband and inmate communications. Commissioner Oliver says the second raid was on Schwartz's home. It's an agricultural sorry? drone. A drone this size could actually lift a human being. You believe this was part of the operation? Don't know yet. Still early in the investigation. The gloves are off. There's full transparency. We know we have an epidemic in our prisons with contraband, and we're going to go get it. Phillips says in a briefing he reminded officers the raids were on Maundy Thursday, day of Christ's Last Supper. It represents um, humility and selflessness and service to others. Feel like you fulfilled that today? Absolutely. Now, uh, Commissioner Oliver says while eight GDC officers were arrested in the investigation, it was good GDC officers who arrested them. Now, Matt Wolf says, while we were at the house, two guys pulled up suddenly outside Thunder Drones, tried to leave, and a search of the car turned up a stolen gun and a drone, and uh, one was arrested. We used photos from the Georgia Department of Corrections in our report. Reporting live, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.